Hi, this is Jeff Spencer, Math 120 instructor for the Community College of Denver, and this is our video lecture over section 10.3, which goes over mainly uh, perimeters, the, the thing that we're going to cover, we're not going over tessellations. So polygons are just, you know, uh, two-dimensional figures, and we're eventually just going to find the perimeter of those things, which is, perimeter is the distance around that figure. So, uh, we're not going to do all this stuff and we're not doing the tessellations. We're going to talk about names of certain polygons, but mainly the main application we're going to do in this is solve problems involving a polygon's perimeter, which is a distance around a figure. It's a length. Okay, and going back to 10.1, that was one of the things that we were finding, a length on a line. Okay, in 10.2, we were finding angles uh, and sides of certain triangles. Now we're going to find lengths around... Um, uh, certain figures, two-dimensional figures. So the name polygon is just a closed shape in the plane formed by three or more line segments. So the first kind of polygon is a triangle. The next kind is a quadrilateral, meaning four sides, like a square or a rectangle. A regular polygon has sides which are all the same length and angles of all the same measure. That's not a super important thing for us. But the perimeter of a polygon is the sum of the lengths of its sides. It's the distance around a figure. That's what perimeter means. Perimeter means around a figure. So just some common names. This is not something I'll test on, but just so you know, triangle for three sides, quadrilateral for three or four sides, pentagon for five sides, hexagon for six, heptagon for seven, and octagon for eight. Um, so they actually have a government building named the Pentagon because it's in the shape of a pentagon, and octagon is the shape of a stop sign here in America. So uh, just some other things that you know that we've talked maybe scratched the surface of is something not necessarily we'll test on, but just to be aware, a parallelogram is a four-sided figure in which opposite sides are parallel. A rhombus is a parallelogram with all sides having equal lengths, so it can be a slanted kind of. Um, rectangle, if you will, but um, and then a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles, and a square is a rectangle, but it also has equal sides, and then trapezoid is just a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Not the most important stuff, just kind of good stuff to know. So the main application we'll do is uh, perimeter, okay, and uh, so if you look at this uh, problem, it, let's say we have this yard, maybe we want to fence this yard. Okay, and we maybe we want to make a dog park or something like that. So we know we want a, a, a plot. It looks like a parallelogram there. 42 yard by 28 yard plot of land. And we want to fence it. So this is a parallelogram. So we know the opposite side is 42. And um, the, the opposite side here is 28. Okay, so they're calling it a rectangle. I guess it doesn't really matter if you call if it if it's a parallelogram or rectangle here because the opposite sides are equal. So um, the perimeter is just the two the, the two twenty eights and the two forty twos added up. So they they show this formula. I'm not big on uh, this particular formula because perimeters always just add the sides all up. So we have two times forty two, the two forty twos, plus the two twenty eights. And I'm not sure why they're writing yards in the middle of the problem. I never do that. I just write the unit at the end. So you multiply these by two and add them up, and you get a 140-yard perimeter. So it says fencing costs 525 for, per foot, though, and we know the perimeter is 140 yards. So we need to convert that number of yards into feet. So to do that, um, we know that three feet is one yard. And if you want to do it this way where you're doing conversions with a uh, fraction, um, kind of proportion style, then you just make sure that the yards will cancel. If you do it that way, if you were to put three feet on the bottom and yards and yards on the top, that wouldn't work. So this is where you know, if you do it this way, you know that you're going to multiply by three to convert yards to feet because yards cancel. So 140 times three is 420 feet. That's the perimeter of this in feet. And then it says it costs 525 per foot. So you just take the 420 and multiply it by the 525 and gives you $2,205 to fence this particular plot of land. So that's mainly what we'll be doing with examples like this with perimeter. We'll continue more with circles and then volumes, or circles and areas and volumes after that. See you next time.